Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about the fourth type of prompt template, which is called as flex template. Now, what is the purpose of this flex template? A flex prompt template in Salesforce is a versatile tool within the prompt builder that allows you to create customized prompts using a variable number of inputs from different object types. So let's say you want to create a newsletter and that newsletter, the data for to create that newsletter comes from various sources or from various objects and the fields of various objects. If that is the case, then you are going to use flex template. So within flex template, you can get data from up to five objects. So you can query data from five objects and they do those objects doesn't have to be related to each other. They can be unrelated to each other also, and you can fetch data from multiple sources of information. This flexibility enables you to generate content that spans multiple objects, whether they are related or not. For example, you could create a newsletter that pulls data from both product and campaign objects. So you can create a newsletter using product object as well as campaign objects and as well as up to five objects you can fetch data from in this flex template. Now, the other important thing is, what is the difference between these templates, right? They kind of looked very similar, field generation, record summary, flex templates. The question that you're going to see in the exam will be around which type of template are you going to use in a particular scenario? Those are the type of questions that are going to come from this particular topic. So you have to pick between field generation versus record summary versus a flex template versus a sales email. So let's first focus on the top three, which is flex template, field generation, and record summary. So what is field generation? This particular template is used to populate a value for a particular field. Let's say you want to populate product description fields with value based on product information. So various pieces of information from product, you wanted to create a product description based on that. So in that case, you can use field summary. Similarly, you have record summary prompt template. This particular template summarizes the record. So if you want to highlight certain information from your record, you wanted to get a concise view of your record rather than glancing through all the fields of your uh, record, you wanted to only get a summary of the whole record. In that case, you're going to use a record summary. Now, what is flex template? This particular template, unlike other template, will basically can get you data from multiple sources or multiple objects which are either related to each other or not related to each other. Flex prompt templates are not limited to predefined fields or records, right? So in the case of field generation and record summary, if you remember, we pick up an object in the very beginning and based on the object that we have selected, we only get fields related to that object. Whereas in the case of flex template, you can select up to five objects and you will get all those objects to pick up those fields within your flex template. They allow you to define your own resources and automate content generation across various objects without manual review. So that is like the best example is creating a newsletter, right? So newsletter is going to be using information from various data points from various objects. And those objects may be related to each other or may not be related to each other, but you're creating a newsletter using all that information. So in that case, you're going to use a flex template. So are you clear on the what is flex template and what is the difference between each of these templates? I hope you guys are crystal clear. If you have any questions, do let me know. Now in this particular tutorial series, what we're going to do is we are going to create a flex template. So we are going to create a newsletter and the newsletter that we are going to create will be using data from two main objects. One is the features and the other one is recommendation object. So features object is going to store the various versions of iPhone and which what are the features associated with those versions. OK, so let's say iPhone 11 have different features. iPhone 12 has different features. 13 has different features. So we are going to create an object which is going to store important features per iPhone into this object. Then we are going to create another object called as recommendation. And that is going to see what are the recommendation for that particular version. So it is also going to have two features fields. One is what is the iPhone version and for that version, what are the recommendations? how to use the camera, how to make the best use of iPhone 12. So those recommendations. So the data you can get from Microsoft Bing, we are going to use Copilot to fetch some data. 
and we are going to create these two objects. And in the flex template, we are going to source data from these two objects and create a newsletter. How to do that? We are going to see step by step in the next couple of lectures. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much.